Oh my god, look at that, I'm getting 7,000 FPS, oh my god. Hey guys, so today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to fake your FPS counter in Fortnite. So, um, as you can see here, Valence, someone named Valence actually uh, did, a, did a Fortnite of the world's highest FPS supercomputer. But as you can see, um, uh, it's fake. I'm going to show you how to fake it, and uh, yeah. So it's just an extremely stable 7,000 FPS all the time. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that in something called DaVinci Resolve. All right, so um, the first thing we're going to need to do is put down a text layer. All right, so so now you have a text layer. And now what we're going to need to do is go up into the in inspector, select it, and then make sure that the, that the font is like sort of bold. Because, you know, the FPS counter is, you know, kind of bold. Now what you're going to need to do is type in just 7,000 FPS, 7,000, let's just type in like 7,092 uh, FPS. And then let's enter in the maximum and minimum. Alright, so now that you have all this uh, typed in, now what you're going to need to do is you got to go frame by frame and then change all of these numbers. So uh, we'll just do like a slight change. So from 7092, for example, I'm going to change it to, so let's say, 7087. And then this, we, can, we will probably only change every like five frames or so. You know what, I feel like this is enough frames, so as you can see right here, uh, I think that uh, we can just go ahead and copy this over and over again. And as you can see, it looks kind of realistic. So, I think we can go ahead and render this out. You can actually put- you can just, uh, move all of this stuff up and then add a solid color and then add like a solid background such as like green and then you can just chroma key it we could do that but well, i'm just gonna leave it black like this now when you're recording your gameplay you want to turn your fps counter off so that like you're not overlaying your fps counter so um here it is with my fps turned on here's my actual real fps now you can actually see that i'm getting around 300 fps all right so now i'm gonna um turn off my fps counter oh my god look at that i'm getting 7000 fps oh my god all right so now I'm, I'm gonna show you how to put it on so open up a new project put in the video clip that you took all right so now that you got the clip in here now with the fps turned off as you can see right here now what you're gonna have to do is create a new layer and then import your fake fps video clip so as you can see the fake fps video clip is right there it's only three seconds long and then you're gonna put that just right there so now you may notice that it's taking up the entire thing click on the clip go into your inspector go down to composite and then set it to screen and now the black is completely removed and as you can see the white text is completely opaque and now you're gonna size it down and then put it wherever you want in this case we're gonna put it where the fps counter normally is what you're gonna have to do now is just loop this yeah then just loop it like just copy and paste it simply and then just end it off there. Yep. And now this is the final result with a few tweaks. Oh my god, look at that. I'm getting 7,000 FPS. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting like 7,000 FPS. So like, yeah, I got like a NASA PC right now. So, you know, I'm building and, you know, and it looks like really and like it's so cool that now you can get like pcs that can run at like 7000 fps now and like oh my god it's so cool dude it's like so freaking cool dude